Guys, it's David Santana here from the Thrifty Mechanic again with another toolbox tour for you. I'm, I decided to rearrange a few things in my box, so I decided to bring that to you. Okay, so basically what I'm going to start with first is the fact of my sockets over here. I got my quarter inch sockets as well as some uh, standards for tires. I have my swivel and my adapters for various things. I got my half inch uh, ratchet here. It's a gear inch XL. Uh, it falls over. That's how I know if anybody messes with my stuff. It's a gear wrench XL. It's a pretty beastly little uh, ratchet. And uh kind of like it. It's not bad. It definitely uh, gets the job done. And I have no complaints with it. It's also got the comfort grip, so that's always really good too. Uh, next up are my uh, quart 3 8 inch uh, deep well sockets as well as my short wells. They go from 8 to 24, skipping 22 and 23. Um, and my 3 8, three eight inch uh, flex head ratchet. It's the locking head from Snap-on. It's the FHX80. And uh, I love this thing. I use it all the time. Damn near every day, if not multiple times a day. Um, moving down, I got my oil filter pliers. These are cheap, not pliers, but a wrench. These are cheap, I think eight bucks. I got a drill for when I need to drill something small that doesn't have much neck in it, but it got a, it has enough for what I need. My impact driver, great for interior work, taking battery stuff out and all that stuff. It's real quick. My cordless 3 8 impact. This is pretty cool because uh, sometimes you need the power of an impact and you need something stronger than this, but you can't quite get a hose in there, so this always works out really well. I keep my battery right there. It's always good to keep it off of them so it doesn't drain any because these will retain a battery, a charge for a year, but if you keep it on here, it will retain a charge for three months. Uh, another flashlight. Um, hardy gloves for when you throw tires and stuff. These are really great. It helps protect your hands from getting tore up from the tires, especially if those tires have wires hanging out of them. That's always a hazard of the job. It's always good to have multiple long flashlights. I got this one from O'Reilly's. It was like a gift from them. You work in this business, the parts guys like to take care of you. Peppermints, because I'm addicted to peppermints. Um, I got another little flashlight for whenever I need a, to just peek at something real fast and I don't want to get out my other stuff. But there's my 3 8 pneumatic impact. I keep some Torx bits right here for when I'm doing a serpentine belt on like a 2007-2008 Toyota or something of that nature. Um, I keep all my little bits and stuff like that over here. Got one down here. And uh, yeah, I just keep them all over here. They're not in any specific order because of, uh, well, I don't know. But then down here is my, one of my favorite tools ever, my Snap-on Tech Wrench, rat, Torque Wrench. And uh, it's uh, probably one of my favorite tools I've owned on this side. But yeah, it's one of my favorite tools I've gotten. I, keep an, I also keep an extra set of safety glasses because you always need them. I have uh, my 3 8 quarter inch and half inch bit drivers for like sockets and stuff like that that go on my impact driver up here. And uh, I feel like it's really important to keep that in a readily, readily available place so if you need it, it's there. On this side, I keep my clipboard. I just use a piece of a coat hanger and uh, put another magnetic holder over there. I decided to coat the back of my uh, toolbox with this so it's like a little bit of a protective coating. Because these are pretty strong little stickers so it might be a little bit protective whenever you're working on like a brake caliper or something that uh, can scratch up your box pretty good. Okay. Go ahead and move to the second drawer. Okay, in here nothing's really changed. I just decided to put my wrenches in the box that they came in. These are my gear wrench ratcheting wrenches, double box end. Uh, these are the XLs. They're, uh, they're a great, great brand. I mean, they're thick. Look at that. I mean, they're every bit of a maybe almost a quarter inch thick steel, and they're great. They feel heavy in the hand. They're strong. They break off darn near everything. Look at the broaching on that. If you don't know what the broaching is, 
I'll explain that in another video. But it's just fantastic. These are also metric. I have my extensions off on the side right here. And then uh, I have my regular ratcheting wrenches right here for when I need to get somewhere smaller that these won't fit or a socket won't fit. My uh, dikes and uh, more little sacrificial ratchet wrenches over here that if I want to destroy them, it won't cost me anything. The business drawer. This is kind of like my unassorted junk drawer. Um, I bought some line wrenches. These are cheapos from uh, the AutoZone. Um, I got my Mexican speed wrench, vice grips, channel lock screwdrivers, Allen keys, uh, more snips, these things are great. I love these things. I use this one the most. I, I, even after my last one, I've used this more than I can imagine. Um, I got my channel locks right here, more screwdrivers, just assorted sizes and sets. And stubbies, more screwdrivers. I don't know if I showed you guys these last time, but these are great for doing uh, cylinder heads and uh, North Star engines. They're great for them. I mean, they're so long, you can get them on a good size ratchet and really get down into that cylinder because uh well they're really down there got my quarter inch ratchet right here it's a gear wrench another uh 120 xp these are great i mean it's a double pawl system so it's not true 120 teeth but uh it makes you feel like it it's still got the three degree arc so it's great um my uh mac wrenches these are some of the favorites you know, the last time I talked about them, they weren't, I still was trying to focus on them and learn exactly what was going on and how to use them. But now, I use these things all the time. That bevel is great. So, yeah, that's always awesome. I got sacrificial impact sockets right here up to 32. Just 32, 30, on down. And uh, they're just, they're pretty great. I like them a lot. And I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that, I had a customer. Um, well, yeah, these line wrenches, like, sometimes you might get a bolt that's a little sticky and you don't want to put a 12 point on it because you're afraid you might round it off. These work pretty good. Now, would I trust these on, like, an exact, an actual uh, line wrench, like a line or something like that, like a fuel line or a brake line? Probably not. But it seriously looks like somebody just cut into a wrench with these. So, yeah, probably not. Um, when you uh, when you look at the hole, you got to think about what you're looking at. I got assorted wrenches right here, sockets and uh, ratchets. I got a snap on rat three quarter inch in here somewhere. There she goes. There she is, down there hidden in the world. These are great. I mean, if you're going to be in this business, you need to buy the best of the best and. Snap-on makes some of the best ratchets and wrenches I've ever seen, so buy the best, boys, because uh, your hand tools will make you the most money out of any tool you own, because you're going to use them every single day. Um, with that being said, and I'm rearranging it right now, I do this all the time, <laughs> I love it. Um, now, with that being said, I have made some changes to the bottom of my box. Down here, I've decided to streamline everything. I got my windshield washer fluid, my coolant, my gloves laid out. I got a sacrificial clipboard that I destroyed. Um, batteries for a, a, the big flashlight you saw up there that I didn't care for. My funnel. I need to get a funnel, buddy, but I'll get there. My seat clamp, my stud pullers. These are actually pretty darn cool. Um, basically, what you do is, like, when you're working on engines... You uh, put those in there onto the stud, like ARP head stud, and it'll twist it out for you. Oh, come on. I'll mess with it later. But, uh, it's, uh, it's a handy little set, and here's my easy red wrench holder. So, like, if, I, uh, if I'm working on something constantly and I just need my wrench to sit there and be ready for me, that's what it'll do, is sit there and be ready for me. And it... If you pull straight up, it has quite a bit of force. But if you pull off at an angle, it comes right off. So that's pretty cool. Um, down here, I got my serpentine belt tool. 
these are great for what they are. Um, it's brand new. My wife got it for me for my birthday. Gear wrench.